my name is James Klim. I'm here in the Cat Star Studios. Had a great day with Omnicam. I tell you, Omnicam is blowing me away. Did a quadrant of an inlay and an onlay, and the restorations dropped in. The cable surface margins were just dialed home better than anything I've ever seen in Seric, and Seric has been great for me. That's why I'm so excited about Omnicam. I'm working on our new colored model for our classes. In fact, I have a class tomorrow here in our Cat Star studio, and or we call it our Cat Star Theater as well when we're doing live classes. And uh, I'm working out the parameters for Omnicam. They are a little different. We don't have a reflective medium. I see the fits more consistent, and the cable surface margins have never been better. I'm so excited about where we're going with Sarek, and I'm glad to be on this journey and uh, to be part of the journey with you folks as well. I'd like to review the uh, case I did today as far as the scanning goes and the various techniques I use. I used the glide technique with a little pump in and out from the surface. It gathers information faster and I use the hover and roll over our preparations and it's working extremely well and I think it will be a nice uh, demonstration of how I see the Omnicam working very well in the mouth. During the onset of the anesthetic is when I like to take the opposing arch. We activate the camera and start on the distal and gradually glide forward listening to the sound. That will keep you in tune. Now right now I have a little bit of light from my operatory on the camera and we just turned it off. The Omnicam will scan better with the light off. It's just the light from the Omnicam that's taking the image. Now you'll notice as we're taking the image here, we're pumping in and out from the arch about 8 millimeters. That builds the information quicker. We'll see that again on the buckle. We're going to start on the distal and you'll notice that I'll touch the teeth with the sapphire lens, it won't scratch, and then I back off about eight millimeters and pump it in and out as I build. You'll see that the die will build quicker that way. With the blue cam, we took the least amount of images possible. With the Omnicam, you can take as much streaming data as you want. It will be compressed later on to build the die. With the Omnicam, it's really easy to take the full quad for the bite registration. There's advantages to this. We usually can take it before we prepare. There's enough digital information to correlate and articulate the virtual dyes later on. In addition, the patient hasn't had their mouth open. This will translate into a better bite registration and improve our bite with our final restorations. The preparation arch. We'll be scanning 18 and 19. These are inlay onlays. I start on the distal over the occlusal plane. I hover about three millimeters away from the tooth. We roll from lingual to buckle or buckle to lingual. This gathers great internal information of that axial wall of the prep. We'll glide forward to the next tooth in order to gain access and record that internal axial wall, we really roll the camera to the buckle. You almost tip it over 90 degrees. As you pump the camera in and out from the arch, you see the information build quicker. Now, I'm gonna go back to my prep. It doesn't hurt to get more information. Once this file is compressed, it won't overbuild the volume are the megabytes of your virtual die once it's compressed. So at this point in time, I want to gather as much information I can over those preps, particularly when there's a box in those vertical line angles of the prep. We want to make sure that all that information is recorded very, very well. We also pitch next to the proximal contact, gathering the other cut data that will improve our virtual design later on. We're going to gather information up to the canine so we can document our bite well when we're ready to 
correlate our virtual models. This is real time as you see on your screen now. This is the actual time that I spent scanning. In our model screen, we'll correlate the models with our buckle scan. The scan was taken prior to the preparation. There's enough digital information to adequately correlate the model and get a very accurate bite. Just take a look at those preps. Look how clean the margins are. You can see the enamel dentinal junction. On the mesial of the first molar, we didn't even pack cord. The color differentiation between the enamel and the soft tissue is so refined that we can see that margin. We did pack cord on the distal of the first molar and mesial of the second molar to gain the contrast for a nice clean margin if it's slightly subgingival.